Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can draw windows, doors, thermal isolation, axes, walls and so on for a simple house with two rooms. So let's get started. First of all we'll begin with the units because in every single drawing the units are very important. So we will write units command and it will appear here a window. We will select here decimal we will add the precision with just with two decimals it's okay here we can see a very short preview i will let here in international the scale now is very important i will let it in centimeters decimal degrees is fine precision i can let it like this and i will let clockwise unchecked so let's get started now first of all we'll begin to set the layers for this one we can type layer and press enter or from the windows user you can go right here in this part or you can go to help and write layer and it will appear here where it is good now let's select the first layer the first one it will be the zero and i will put it at zero millimeters now the second one i will go here at create new layer i will write axis i will change the color into red for example the type of the line i will change it to load and I will select here dash dot two. Double click and we are ready to go. Now the second layer, walls. I will select for example this color 30 and I will choose here 0 0.4 millimeters to be a little bit thicker and to be even more clear I will check this one show high line weight the next layer it will be for windows and doors so I will press here new layer I will write windows and doors i will change the color into cyan 0 comma 0 it's fine and the line type continue yeah everything is fine but here at walls change it back into continuous it's very important the next layer it will be with thermal insulation for this one i will let it with white and i will select here the type of the line because it's very important to be different so for this one i will choose here batting add double click and i will have it for the next layer i will choose to hatch so right hatch white zero but change the line type so glad it in continues and another layer just with details zero comma zero white yeah everything is perfect now we can work so let's start with the axis first of all double click on it and let's write line the first line so activate the auto command it's important the first one it will be 150 enter we will go down with 550 come here try to find this point and back from the starting position inside of it we need to have an offset so we'll apply the offset command with 400 units to gain even more speed let's select this axis and press the join command now offset with 12.5 units inside and outside because in this way we have walls of 25 units for example it is just an example you can also write 35 or doesn't matter how much good now we will do the same thing in the other way so offset again 12.5 here with this line good you can explode it and select the entire drawing command a and use the trim command also in the other direction select these parts And go here and press wall for the next step let's deactivate the axis layer to be even more easier so is the current layer yeah I will change it to off and now let's draw in walls so double click on it we will create now the thermal insulation so let's assume you have a thermal isolation of five units for this one we will apply the offset command five units for this polyline here as you see and inside of it we will build another line so offset 2.5 units select this line and go here to 
thermal insulation and here we see but it is too big for sure and we'll go here command 5 or just right click properties and we'll write here line type scale so let's try with 5 units it's too big also let's try with 0 0.1 it's too small 0 0.2 and it's almost perfect close this one now let's focus on windows and doors for example we will choose here windows and doors layer and let's start to draw we will start with the exterior door of 90 units for this one we will start with a rectangle so the first dimension it will be five and the other one it will be nine let's close this part okay and now our door is a 90 centimeter door so for this one we will copy it be sure you have the ortho command active and move it at 85 units inside of a draw line and here a rectangle starting from this point here we have half so 2.5 tab 75.5 now let's draw the arch so go draw arch start center end go exactly in this end point center and now the end good and now let's draw the handle so let's construct another line for example here of let's say eight units from this line we'll construct the handle so right rectangle find this point if you cannot find the end point write these settings and it will appear a window full of options so for our case we need end point good rectangle again first i mentioned it will be five and the other one 15. offset it with two units okay now select both rectangles and explode them delete this line and this line too and this line too extend command okay and now let's apply fillet air from radius to units fillet air from radius to inside let's apply fillet air from radius one the same command fillet air one and now let's mirror it so use the mirror command enter select exactly the midpoint erase source object no and here it is our drawer now it's complete to be even easier select the door and write the block command to have one single block so here we will write for example door 90 centimeter create block and we have now just one block not so many pieces see it okay now let's place the door here now let's construct a rectangle so 90 tab 25 let's place it exactly in the middle so select the middle go also in the middle and extend it now until here select explode it now let's use the trim command okay and let's place our drawing exactly here in the middle for this one let's make it a little bit smaller select move it from this midpoint until here and extend it back and now let's say we have the same door here so we will copy it so instead of copying a lot of objects we'll copy just one object because if you see here i'll go now with properties and i will see block reference so it's one single piece now i will select it copy it and let's say we have exactly in the middle so again rectangle First dimension 25 tab 90 units copy place it in the middle now trim rotate 90 units 
and move command now. Place it exactly in the middle. And a very good point of the block references is that, for example, I select one object and if I have many objects in the same drawing, I can right click and select here select similar and it will be automatically selected all the similar blocks. And if I will press command 5 or I will go to properties, I see that I have now two blocks. So now I have two blocks because it's the same block. And if I will select one, I have just one block. Now let's focus on the windows now. So let's create a window. Let's change the layer again and let's create the first part. So right rectangle. The first dimension, it will be 5 tab 9. Good. Inside of it, we need to construct another one. But let's select it. So copy it. And right here, 145 units. Because our window, it will be of 150. So one and a half meter, basically. Line again from one side to the other. Now copy this line in the other direction. And now is the offset time. So offset 1.5 units. And in the other direction as well. Again, offset with one unit. Because this one, it will be the actually the window. And let's select the entire drawing, except these four lines. And we will choose here details. Let's change here back into walls. Now let's create another rectangle. So right, the first I mentioned 150 tab 30 units. Move command and select the midpoint. Good. Now let's apply the trim command and delete all these parts. Make it a little bit smaller. And now is the time to place it exactly in the middle. Extend it back. But for this time, it is the time to add the interior and the exterior part. For this one, we will change here into details and we will draw another line. So for one part to the other. Move command now with three units. We must do the same thing in the other direction. So if here we have three plus 30 plus three, so that means 36 units. Select this one, copy, and write 36 units. Create another two lines. Here. Now copy this line. And let's create our block. So block. Let's write here window 150 centimeter. Select objects. Or go like this, but press shift and select this line back. And the same thing here, shift and select just this line. Press enter now. Create object and here it is. Now let's copy it in the other sides as well. For this thing, let's create another rectangle, but let's change back into walls. So rectangle, 150, tab, 30 units. Move, place it exactly in the middle. Copy it. And rotate it. Select a random point and write 90 units. Copy it again. And this one copy too. Select the entire drawing, command A, and now trim. And now is the time to place our window. And because it is a block, it is way, way easier. So copy. Select this part until here, rotate it, 
with 90 degrees. Create now a little line, so right line, three units. Move them here, find the end point and place it here. Delete this little line and to be even easier, let's create another line from one side to the other. Mirror command. Select this block, enter and find the middle here. Erase source object now and delete this line. The same thing we'll do it in this direction. So create a line. Our middle is here. Mirror. Select this window. Enter. This will be our mirroring line. Erase source object now. Delete this line. And here it is. And if I want to select one, let's activate the properties. If I'll select one, it will be one block. And if I'll let it here select similar, it will be selected all the same windows. And for example, if I want to modify one of them, I'll double click on it. For example, I want to build another line in this middle. I'll go out, save the change, OK. And all of those have this line. Let's modify back now. Go again, delete it. Yeah, save. And for the last part, let's use the hatch command. So hatch. Select this part, this part, this part to build the bricks. Change here the layer into hatch, hatches, brick. Okay. And here it is. I hope this video helped you. If you want to see the next part of this drawing, please check out the playlist. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.